डोंट मेक फूल ऑफ द पीपल इन द नेम ऑफ लॉ ऑफ अट्रैक्शन एक्चुअली दिस कमेंट वॉज इन हिंदी एंड इट साउंड इवन वर्स बट आई एम फॉर्चुनेट इन ऑफ दैट मोर देन नाइंटी नाइन परसेंट ऑफ कमेंट्स दैट आई रिसीव आर पॉजिटिव बट आई थॉट टू मेक अ वीडियो ऑन दिस so i can clear your doubts and i can have this video to show those negative people hi i am pratyush i combine my learnings of quantum science neuroscience psychology spirituality and share my thoughts to create a world that we aspire law of attraction is just a name of a concept that our consciousness affect the physical reality our mind affect the matter and to understand this we have to go quantum and if you are a science guy you will understand it better but i will try my best to keep it as simple as possible now we have been taught in school that uh, atoms are the smallest particle of anything physical atoms are actually the building blocks of our physical reality anything that we can see that we can touch that we can sense is made of atoms now what is an atom an atom is fundamentally the smallest particle of physical things which is 99.9999999% empty space which is not actually empty but made of energy atom is made of three tiny particles electrons neutrons and protons there is a nucleus in the center of the atom which contains protons and neutrons as per the old model electrons orbit around the nucleus just like the planets orbit around the sun which is incorrect electrons actually move very randomly around the nucleus in one moment they are here and then it gets disappear in the empty space and becomes the energy and then it appears somewhere else as a particle their movement is very unpredictable in one of his research dr joy dispenza found that when someone is looking for something then this electrons appear into an orbit and start moving and when somebody is not looking for something that electrons disappear into that empty space it means when someone is looking for something it becomes particle and when someone is not looking for something it becomes energy to explain this in a simple manner i want you to watch this video and here we are the granddaddy of all quantum weirdness the infamous double slit experiment to understand this experiment we first need to see how particles or little balls of matter act if we randomly shoot a small object say a marble at the screen we see a pattern on the back wall where they went through the slit and hit now if we add a second slit we would expect to see a second band duplicated to the right now Let's look at waves. The waves hit the slit and radiate out, striking the back wall with the most intensity directly in line with the slit. The line of brightness on the back screen shows that intensity. This is similar to the line the marbles make. But when we add the second slit, something different happens. If the top of one wave meets the bottom of another wave, they cancel each other out. So now there is an interference pattern on the back wall. Places where the two tops meet are the highest intensity, the bright lines, and where they cancel, there is nothing. So, when we throw things, that is matter, through two slits, we get this. two bands of hits and with waves we get an interference pattern of many bands good so far now let's go quantum <laughs> an electron 
is a tiny, tiny bit of matter. Like a tiny marble. Let's fire a stream through one slit. It behaves just like the marble, a single band. So, if we shoot these tiny bits through two slits, we should get, like the marbles, two bands. What? An interference pattern. We fired electrons, tiny bits of matter through. But we get a pattern like waves not like little marbles. How? How could pieces of matter create an interference pattern like a wave? It doesn't make sense. But physicists are clever. They thought maybe those little balls are bouncing off each other and creating that pattern. So they decide to shoot electrons through one at a time. There is no way they could interfere with each other. But after an hour of this, the same interference pattern is seen to emerge. The conclusion is inescapable. The single electron leaves as a particle, becomes a wave of potentials, goes through both slits, and interferes with itself to hit the wall like a particle. But mathematically, it's even stranger. It goes through both slits, and it goes through neither. And it goes through just one, and it goes through just the other. All of these possibilities are in superposition with each other. But physicists were completely baffled by this. So they decided to peek and see which slit it actually goes through. They put a measuring device by one slit to see which one it went through and let it fly. <laughs> but the quantum world is far more mysterious than they could have imagined. When they observed, the electron went back to behaving like a little marble. It produced a pattern of two bands, not an interference pattern of many. The very act of measuring or observing which slit it went through meant it only went through one, not both. The electron decided to act differently, as though it was aware it was being watched. And it was here that physicists stepped forever into the strange never world of quantum events. What is matter? Marbles or waves? And waves of what? And what does an observer have to do with any of this? The observer collapsed the wave function simply by observing. This experiment actually proved that our consciousness affects the physical reality. Our mind affects the matter. But now the question is, does like attracts like? To answer this, I want to share one more experiment with you. This experiment was done by some researchers on 44 hotel mates. So what they did is they asked that 44 hotel mates that how much exercise they were doing. And despite the fact that they were cleaning 15 rooms a day, and if you have ever cleaned a room, you know how much uh, of work it is. Unaware of that physical activity, they replied that uh, they are not doing any physical exercise. Some of them uh, answered that, yes, they are doing some exercise, but not on a regular basis. So then the researchers took their measurements. They checked their body shape, their uh, health, and their hips to body ratio. And then they informed them that cleaning of 15 rooms is hell of exercise. By cleaning the floors, they are doing a particular exercise. By doing that, they are doing another exercise. By doing that, they are doing another exercise. And then they left them with this information and asked them to follow the same routine for next few months. After a few months, they checked their measurements again. Their body shape improved, their health improved, their hips to body ratio improved. Just by the thought alone, there was no change in the physical activity. The only change was in the information and in their thoughts. So I hope this experiment actually cleared that how our consciousness affect the physical things, 
how we see them they become just by the thought alone there was a change in their physical appearance so i trust i was able to clear some of your doubts on how our consciousness affect our physical reality and how like attracts like and if you are still confused god bless you because it doesn't matter whether you understand it or not if you believe it or not it is always working so if this video was helpful if this video has impacted you please like comment share and help me to create more awareness be conscious Thank <music> you.